one, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be quite the interesting match. We have what's known as Laredo's Prodigy right here, Roxy. Prodigy Roxy perhaps taking on a future prodigy in her opponent right now. So this is a very interesting matchup. As we have a return, as we have a return, a debut, and quite a few statistics to go over here. As we have referee with you always is Al. Here we go. We've got Prodigy versus Prodigy in the making, seeing that just two years ago, Roxy was in the shoes of Mia Friday, seeing that she was an upcoming prodigy. Now Mia, look at that beautiful show of respect between these two women. Now, making her official debut here at LWA, Mia Friday. On a Sunday, from, mind you. That's right. All the way from Lions Pride Sports, taking on Roxy. This is their first time locking up here in LWA, but they are no strangers to each other, though. And now, if you consider all these facts, with the combined age of these competitors, this is the youngest match in LWA history, Lieutenant Dan. Not even 35 years old combined with these two, and they know a whole heck of a lot more than their peers twice their age. Interesting when it comes to their credibility, their trainers, and their hard work ethic, but tonight, only one can win. Absolutely correct, and Roxy. Nice headlock takeover by Miss Friday. Roxy, who was now uh, representing Reality of Wrestling out there in Houston. Uh, once again, like I said, they've had their share of encounters outside of Lions Pride Sports, but also in Reality of Wrestling, but now for the first time here in the LWA. And especially in the home of, wow, look at that. The showmanship of Roxy has been well documented, but she does use it to her advantage to get it to the head of her opponents as she's showcasing her technical wrestling ability here over Mia Friday the lesser experienced of the two, but where she's been could make up for the years that Roxy possesses. As another headlock takeover by Mia Friday. Yeah. Could the fact that today is a Sunday, Lieutenant, be a disadvantage for Miss Mia over here? Or that's is that a, just head game? That's a very good question. Mia Friday, resting on a Sunday here in LWA. We need to start booking more Friday shows. And look, tip for tack right there. These two women Definitely one up in each other by the second. As we see head scissors, headlock takeovers, and more. As the home crowd in clear favor of the prodigy, taking on the prodigy in the making, Mia Friday. And look at that athleticism of Roxy. Into a back bend, into a bridge, and wow! Near flawlessly escaping that head scissors and the sign of respect from these two competitors continues the action here at LWA Peru. Wow, into a nice sacada by Mia Friday. 
That was a legal move, despite the long hair being a factor. As we have another collar and elbow, here's a go-behind. Roxy now, wow, into a go-behind arm drag of her own. The hometown crowd of Roxy here, very evident. Oh, dodges the shake into what, what? Into an around the world Sagada by Mia Friday. Impressing in her debut so far. Oh, oh. Roxy catches that hand and utilizing it. Ooh, for the wrist lock chop combination. Oh, that hurt me. I think that hurt me a Friday. No stranger to the ropes is Roxy. What's she going for off the top? Beautiful Sagada. Nice. There's been no clear cut advantage so far. It's just been your turn, my turn. No one's had a stalemate so far. Uh-oh, blocks the hip toss. Into a hip toss of her own, perhaps? No. Hip toss, reverse pin. Oh, rather into a standing oh. knee assault. Roxy with that patented maneuver of hers, very devastating. And think about that, using her knees rather than her body as a weapon. She hasn't lost a step till Dempsey. Oh, and I mean, don't get it twisted. She has been all over the state and beyond ever since LWA's absence, and she is definitely showcasing it with her performance. And Mia Friday, very young, not only in her age, but in her career, wise beyond her years. Ooh, as Roxy is the clear advocator here in control. God, aggressively driving the shoulder right into her abdomen into a hair mare, taking her to the other side of the ring. Going for another cover here with you always is Al, only a two. Close, but no cigar. Indeed, oh boy. What a kick by Roxy. She might need a cigar after that kick, ouch. With Spine authority. shattering. Man. And now Mia Friday's in trouble, she's getting her choked on the rope there. And this is a, quite a different attitude on Roxy, but a more competitive attitude that we've seen in recent years, as she's being quite the aggressor here on Mia Friday. Showing the kid the ropes, no pun intended. Ooh! European uppercut by Roxy. Sweeps the leg into a nice front roll. Dodges the knees. Oh, nobody home there, Dill Dempsey. Last second. Big old clothesline oh. in the corner by Mia Friday. Look at that. A house of fire is Miss Friday on a Sunday. This is fun to say. Absolutely. Mia Friday. Oh, oh misses the shotgun no. drop kick. Nobody in the pool there. Indeed, Lieutenant. Summer's about to come to an end, so no more pool references after this, I bet. God, Roxy Covered maintaining by Roxy. the aggression and no. Two count only. Another two count. Says with you always is Al. Oh man, Roxy taking things to a comfortable pace. Oh, oh. dodges the European. Oh, but again, oh! Shot by Roxy. And Down goes Mia Friday. Ooh. In the running meteora, knees to the skull. Could this end it? Took town only. Only a two. Mia here Friday is showing us something here, folks. She's quite resilient so far within the strikes that we've seen with Roxy so far. Prodigy versus future prodigy here at LWA Proving Ground. Some of our youngest competitors ever in the LWA, but don't take them lightly. Oh, indeed. The youngest match in LWA's history, and who knows if we can ever duplicate that. Oh, what a kick by Mia Friday. That one found the mark. Cover. Beautiful running big boots. No. As was, a man who loves big boots, that was a nice count one. only, you're right. And Mia needs to stay on Roxy if she wants to maintain this advantage. And she does. Speaking of boots. Look at this, Mia Friday now choking Roxy in the corner there with her with her man, boot. Those boots are made for choking, ladies and gentlemen, as she subdues Ro uh oh Beautiful dodge. Oof. Ooh. Running, look at this, a flurry of forearms by the prodigy. Anything you can do, I can do better, Mia Friday, says Roxy. Prodigy in complete control here, Dill Dempsey. Indeed. As she does possess the experience edge over Mia. Why are they trying for me? <laughs> here we go. Right the swinging neck breaker. Wait, she's not done. She is known to hit multiple. Beautiful. Another neck breaker. 
double neck breaker right there by Miss Rubber. Cover, hooks the legs. Yo. Two count only. Only a two. Man, this crowd has never lost their edge throughout the whole evening, and we're not even done yet. Yeah, absolutely not. We still have plenty of action left here at uh -oh. LWA Proving Grounds, but now Roxy trying to go for a classic here. Ooh. Run into a modified abdominal stretch, a hammerlock abdominal stretch applied using her stomach as a weapon, slapping it. Knowing that Mia is near defenseless at this point. Roxy taking advantage, but it looks to be costing her lieutenant as she's throwing some fight. Now Mia Friday starting to show some fire here. Ooh, it is. Ooh. And a nice jaw jack right there. Jawbreaker by Mia Fry. Oh! oh. Das boot right to the chin by Roxy. Ducks the forearm. Ooh. Into a couple of forearms by Miss Friday here. Look at her. We need an extinguisher. Oh, no! There goes the referee. There goes the referee. As Mia's a house of fire with the clothesline back elbow. Nice! Running attack right there. Running forearm attack. And now Mia Friday is money a comeback. However, there's still no referee in this oh, match. Into a Savat kick. Roxy back in control. Oh no! Oh! oh. Into a sit out DDT. Her signature but, but maneuver. There's no referee. There's no referee. The referee is still out. The fans counted a three, but that doesn't count. She kicked out at seven, Lieutenant. But we don't got a referee. The referee is still out, though. Time, uh, we need to throw some now, of this at him. Now Roxy's checking on the referee here with the always is out. He's a. Uh, As she hit that impaler DDT. He's a, he, Wait, he, oh! He's a mess. Oh. Oh man, Roxy trying to go for her finish not once but twice. Boy, Miss Friday now reverses it. Back in control, slowing her down. What she have in mind, Lieutenant? I'm not sure. It, will, it was full position. Look at this. Whoa. No way. Two. Upset. Oh. Two count only, says referee. With you always is out. That was close. You know, a nice Oklahoma roll. Only a two. Another two. Oh, could this be a? No. Man, that was a six count. Wait a minute. You know what? No. Two, two, so many two. Beer balls. And, oh. She got it. She got it. Off the jack she got it. cover. Galore, the prodigy, picks up the victory. Pin after pin after pin. The jackknife cover is what barely secures the three counts here at Proving Grounds. What a hell of a debut for Mia Friday, ladies and gentlemen, as Roxy continues her trend of momentum. Like hotcakes, ladies and gentlemen.